Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. To start off, I'm using the NYX First Base Primer Spray. For brows, I'm using the Wonder Brow Gel in the shade Brunette. To conceal my brows, I'm using LA Pro Girl Concealer in the shade Warm Honey. And off camera, I'm going to carve out the top of my brows as well. If you would like an in-depth brow tutorial, please let me know in the comments below. I'm blending that concealer out with a e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm going to set the crease area with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. So today we're using the Masquerade Mini by Julia's and for my transition shade I'm using Burkina. Make sure wipe the motions back and forth. I'm blowing that out. Next, I'm going into my crease with the Zobo. And I'm going to really build that color up. Next, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette, and I'm using that purple shade called Unicorn. And I'm taking the next glitter primer and applying that. On my lid, I'm gonna cut the crease with this. In my inner corner, I'm taking Zola. And we're gonna be creating like a ombre effect with two other colors. So the next color is going to be Dahlia. I'm going to put that in the center of my lid. And I'm going to blend those two together. And on the outer corner, I'm going to put Chi. I'm going back into the artist palette and taking the black, it's called Cold. And I'm placing that on my outer corners to add some dimension. I'm going to also slightly bring that up above the blue. I'm taking my NYC liquid liner in black. I'm just going to line my lash line. And then I'm going to flick it out like so. I'm going to connect it at the top. And simply fill it in. For foundation, I'm going to be taking the biography foundation I got mine at Mikasa Beauty I don't know the shade it doesn't have a shade on it but off camera I applied my Ace Butte Lolo PM lashes I 
Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but this foundation is too light for my forehead. Because as y'all know, my forehead is darker than the rest of my face. But that's okay, because we're going to bronze it up. And I'm setting the foundation with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in dark. To conceal, I'm using the LA Pro Girl Concealer in Warm Honey. And I put that under my eyes, my nose bridge, cupid's bow, chin, and forehead. And then I blend that out with my Real Techniques blending sponge. Pro Girl Concealer in the shade Light Ivory. I only take that under my eyes and on the bridge of my nose because it's too light for the rest of my face. To bake, I'm going to use a Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and I put that everywhere that I highlight it. And to bronze up the skin, I'm using my Black Radiance pressed powder in the shade Cafe. And I'm going to bronze up that forehead as well because it's looking a little light. Bake under the contour with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Now we're going back into the Juvia's palette and we're gonna go in with the Zobo. And that's the same shade that I used in my crease, and I'm gonna smoke that out on the bottom lash line. Now we're gonna go in with Chi in the outer corner, and we're gonna put Dahlia in the center, and then we're gonna put Zolo. Zola in the inner corner. It's basically the same process that we did on the top. It's just reverse if you're coming from the outside in. The next I'm gonna take my NYX glitter glue, pop that in my inner corner. And I'm using the Jacqueline Deviante glitter in the number 32. Next we're gonna dust off that bake. Match that nose. I'm using the same bronzer that I use for the rest of my face. To highlight, I'm using the Lorac Tantalizer. And you already know, I put it on my cheekbones, bridge of my nose, cupid's bow, and my forehead.
And then to highlight even more, I'm going in with my Sleek Makeup Solstice Palette. I'm taking the shade Equinox. Take that same highlighter and put it on my brow bone. Next, I'm going to line my lips with MAC Cyber World Lip Liner. take my next liquid suede and sway and then I'm gonna put another one called run the world over top of that then I'm gonna go back in with the liner to blend the two together and we are pretty much done I hope you guys enjoyed this look don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time